Hi, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler. Today we're trying to find out who is the better player, Phil Garfond here on the left, or Jungleman Cates, the guy on the right. Uh, again, this is topic, uh, this is uh, footage from the Garfond challenge. And yeah, I, I'm pretty pumped to, to look into this and trying to determine who of the two is the better player. Um, yeah, we also had uh, reviewed some footage before. And yeah, let's, let's see if we get some new indicators. Who of the two is better? We will also use the PLO trainer, which I forgot to, <laughs> to, to, uh, to, to upload, uh, to update before. So I have to do it now. <laughs> um, but yeah. And yeah, I, I I'm, I'm really pumped and fully awake, <laughs> prepared for you, just took a cold shower, even uh, cut my fingernails, very important, because later in the day I will go bouldering. And if you want to crimp hard, <laughs> you have to um, yeah, be, uh, have to have short fingernails, otherwise you will run into trouble. But yeah, that's nothing to do with this video of Phil Galfond. While PLO Trainer is... Um, Downloading, we will start with the video now. Whoop -ah. Who is leading so far? The jungle man is up uh, 74,000 or so. Again, these are 1020 tables, but we're 10x cross. Okay, so 74k uh, is the lead of jungle man, but as this is 10x cross book, it's like 700k um, jungle man is ahead. So this is the first indicator that Jungleman might be the better player. But obviously poker is a lot of variance and yeah, this could just be due to luck. I also don't know um, how many hands they play. I mean, even if they play like 50k hands, it could be the case that this still could be influenced a lot by luck and variance. Uh, yeah. My impression so far from the session before is um, that both play very well. Jungleman does a lot of weird stuff, like no, no, not a lot, but but occasionally does weird stuff, some some random uh, weird looking bluffs. Uh, some of them work, some of them don't. But maybe he has some sort of read or something that he's getting the best of of Galfond by doing this. Um, yeah, let's let's figure out who's the better one. Booking, so it's a 100, 200, so that is a little under four buy-ins. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like we're in business. It looks like we're in business. Jungle Man is here. We're gonna refill our water. Could bet, could check. Let's start the check. This is one of those weird spots where I have to bluff, but I don't think he's gonna fold often enough. But we're okay. First, looked like a good bluff spot for Jungle Man, but he didn't do it because he has two pairs as well, um, together with the straight blockers. So that's why we didn't see much action. So no, no need to bluff if you have the best hand, anyways. We're gonna go for it. I'm definitely gonna bet both streets and hope for the best. Now he bets full pot. Okay. <laughs> But I just don't think he folds off enough, as I said. Okay, it's gonna be that fucking puller. All right. Here we're gonna pot. I have a heart in my hand. And this is gonna not work. Yeah, this is very interesting if Jungleman will be able to make this read. He definitely has an okayish hand to call. I mean, he's blocking the straight, but the straight has this is not important anymore, obviously, as uh, Flush came in. But he has a, a, a heart in his hand, so he could be um, considering to call. For ten thousand, eleven thousand. Oh, hey. I have a hand I'm supposed to call at least once. Um, whatever, man. Whatever, Galfon. That's why you do it anyway. Yeah, he snap forwards. Yeah. Maybe uh, with a bigger heart. <laughs> Not his heart, but heart in his hand, like the queen of hearts. More of a call. I I wouldn't fold a flush, but all right. So up here we've got. Some stuff. I'm gonna bet the stuff. 
So his outfits are also always cool. This time he has a crazy hat. In one uh, stream he was like a cowboy. So that's that's cool. Garfon should also dress up. But this hand could pot, could check. I only pot on Jack Five Deuce Rainbow as a sizing. Down here I have some stuff. I'm gonna check the stuff. Okay. Yeah, good good decision, I think. Sure what to do I have small and big. Here, uh, I'm going to have to raise. I don't, I think he has a lot of things and I should raise some hands and... A raising especially makes a lot of sense if you are facing such a small sizing. Whatever, I have top two, who cares? Uh, checks back raise, I mean, I'm jamming jack seven five, but... I wonder what he has. It's pretty... Oh, that's, that's cried a quite aggressive to jam it in. I wouldn't be very um, happy about what's happening in Jungle Man's shoes. Because I think it's probably unlikely with Phil. It's just a uh, three-bet jamming uh, draw. So yeah, this is actually a tough one, I think. I, I wouldn't expect that uh, Galfond to be that aggressive with um, top two. I mean, he also has the five, so blocking um, possibilities for his opponent to have sets even more. So yeah, it's reasonable, but I wouldn't necessarily um, think that he does that. Uh, maybe he would just call if he has just check seven. I don't. I don't have no idea. And it will be very interesting what Jungleman does. Simple spot. Now it's not so simple. Yep. So like turn to big draw, or I mean, he's got some bluffs, but actually on board this draw, I mean, I kind of feel like he's going with it. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's unfortunate. Ooh, jungle gets very lucky. Uh, same hand, but he got there. Okay, the same hand, and then I sucked out. Wow. Okay, that was the dream. No longer grumpy. Maybe I can find the patience within to deal with some of those, these things. I don't think there's a sense in me not jamming turn. The SPR is too shallow to be like... It's not a trap, but it's more like if he was value raising, I'm not an amazing. Oh, again, big flop, for both of Vegas guys. Amazing shape, and if he's bluff raising, you know, whatever. This is a weird one. I might just rip because it's pretty awkward to play otherwise. I'm obviously like, if he goes with it, I'm pretty unhappy. Uh, I'm uh, by the way, I don't like that he's just ripping it in. I think it's not that awkward to play. And yeah, the blockers can come into play later in the hand, but yet they are not that strong and it's very uh, reasonable and easy for a uh, jungle man to have like the nut flush draw and he's never folding that. So, I mean, he does not have the nut flush draw yet, but he's definitely not folding anyways. So yeah, I think uh, I would just elect to call. Mm. We could... Uh, put this play to the test with the help of PLO trainer. Let's resize and see. So we, uh, I think the most sims we got for this limit, we are 100 big blinds deep and we have two players only. So it's raise, re-raise, call. Let's hope that this board is available. Otherwise, we will have to make small adjustments and find a board that's similar to that one. Although, check 10. Yeah, we got uh, not really. Check 10, 6. Seems okay ish. Take this one. And I think the continuation bet is looks standardish, although the size is not really standard. At least this sim only has three quarter sizing, but whatever. Let's see if you what to do if we face a three quarter quad size bet with queen queen eight ten.
Okay. Looks like the solver also wants to jam it in with the nut flush draw. At least uh, Pulse uh, plays in line with GTO. I'm gonna go ahead and get in my overpair gut shot and flush draw. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna do it. Oof, that's his, his huge favorite. It's Phil. That's got me in bad shape. What the fuck does he have? Okay, I win another one. Sweet. He's got some hands that I beat that are going with it, and it's just like, I have a lot of types of equity, but it's going to get awkward. Oh. I think he's not beating anything badly, but he definitely has some fold equity. That's the main thing why you're raising this. I guess it's aces with nothing else, probably fold. On uh, turns in reverse, but and yeah, that's obviously great if you get a hand to fold against which you have like fifty percent equity or something. I don't think his hand is a jam, honestly. A bit more, maybe. I, that's just my guess. That's... Yeah, if I thought the same, but according to the solver, it is a jam. <laughs> just my intuition. I, I just uh, you know, having looked at the solvers a little bit, guess what? I've seen the solvers a little. I don't think it really likes to jam there, precisely for that reason, because it just gets the hand gets screwed a little bit too often. But I don't know. It sees the Galphon. I'm curious. I would probably, if I had to bet a 50-50... So far, it looks like if you just judge from a GTO chess standpoint, that Galphon is a better player. Because, yeah, Jungleman had the same misconception as I did. But results, again, <laughs> look like he's a better player. But yeah, that's obviously... You probably just bet that I'm right. <laughs> but I don't really know if I'm honest. We are off to a bad start right away. So that's uh, about... 42k down. All right, aces. There you go. Oh, aces and <laughs> aces, aces and two pair. Not yeah, four and six cool four. Glasses. Could raise, could call. I go with raise. All right. Well, I got a lot of stuff. I'm... I wonder why he's raising this one. This looks like. Yeah. Okay. It's just a, a gut shot and a back flush draw. Yeah. Not sure. This. This is how you are supposed. To play <laughs> let's again put this to the test by the way um links to this sweet little program which can boost your poker game a lot in the description same price as normal but i will i'm affiliated with them and get a small um commission as well so if you want to get better at poker very appreciated if you use my link I also have a link to another solver. This is the one from Phil Galfon, one of these players. I mean, it's not exactly from him, but it's from his um, his um, coaching site. Links also below. And yeah, if you want to get coaching from this, not this guy, the other one, <laughs> it's also be recommended. So let's see what what was the board. I, I forgot what the board was already. That's bad. So let's see, it is 5, 10, deuce. 5, 10, deuce. So we got a call. So we need 10 high board. Ooh, sweet. Got the exact board. Uh, flop was build check raise, right? Check and let's see if this check raise is decent play or not. According to the solver, obviously, I mean, it could all always be a decent play if you have some more reads and do some exploitable stuff. Uh, no. This is not, not a, a thing in solver world. I'm really good at having these stuff ki kinds of hands. I call them Captain Planet kind of hands because you kind of have a little bit of everything, right? It's 275. I just got like some stupid hand. I actually don't really like my bet. 
think I mostly want a big sizing. If yeah, I think this sizing is completely bad. <laughs> if I have a set, I just want to go big, big. So, so why does he did do it in the first place? If he, <laughs> I mean, whatever. I'm gonna uh, call. My, <laughs> this seems like not the right hand to have here. <laughs> whatever I'm supposed to have. I guess I'm checking and. Who's giving up? Or is he just assuming that his 6-4 is good sometimes and he can get it to showdown? Maybe. I guess when he's giving up, it's going check check now. I have a small chance of winning, but very small. He needs like ace ace 6 4. That's chop. Ace ace 5 4. <laughs> yeah. Ace ace 6 4. Yeah, it's a chop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, he could be ahead against something like aces with the nut flush draw or something. Yeah, call me Mickey. I, today I decided not to be Mickey Angelo, but um, or at least currently I'm a little, you know, just let me like figure out what's yeah, going on. Yeah, easy check. What I is he doing? Like putting money. Just uh, being talking some person. trash. I think <laughs> weird. I think I'm gonna check, man. I block what he folds. Good play, man, if you check. I block what he folds, and man, does he not want to fold on this spot. Yeah, cool. Oh, no, I thought I won. I thought he had ace, ace, five. Oh, I win. <laughs> what does he have? He has, what is that? What is that, dude? Man. Looks like uh, Galfon wants to catch up to Galfon. Uh, Galfon wants to catch up to Jungleman, making some crazy plays. But yeah, this one clearly didn't work out, and I also think it wasn't good i think he just didn't had yeah a lot uh, enough to go with this play i mean just had a gut shot on the floor it's, it's just not a great a great play I, I don't like it no way he wins there uh easy 10 5 he was thinking of turning it into a bluff i was not going to get that to fold on the turn certainly all right that was pretty sweet <laughs> i was i was a little confused myself in that spot i was just like what's going on here I don't know what to do. I'm pretty. I also love uh, Jungleman's comments. If if you just hear his comments and how he behaves, you think that like he's a complete retard. But if you actually look into his plays, maybe he wants to entice further action from other people. But if you look into his plays, you will see that he's actually very tough to play against. Some occasional very um, creative plays, but. Other than that, a uh, very solid, good poker player. I don't know what the machine does there. The machine just probably like malfunctions as a Galfond in his calculator malfunction. I, I don't love my turn pot, or sorry, my turn small bet, because I don't know if I want many small bets there, um, but happy with my... Th I think it, in, oh, Galfond could also bet turn as well in this end. Oh, uh, yeah, also fine. Uh, I'm also okay with checking. Uh, yeah, now he has to check call. Flop check raise. Um, so on the right table, he's actually kind of repping better than my hand. But I mean, I'm not folding king six on rainbow board. Okay, this looks like... That's not the best card for Phil because the rep or the open ender to the top just came in. And it's, it's hard to put jungle on a hand that you beat now. After he check, after he called flop, bet the turn, and yeah, now also when the, with the main draw coming in, so I wouldn't be surprised if Galfon folds now facing a big bet. But let's see. This looks like a trap I've ever seen one. Unfortunately, I have like the, the bottomest rap ever. Yeah, I think he has to bet because if he's not betting this. He will not find any bluffs at all in this spot. And he's on the bottom of his range, so this is always a good indicator that you have to bet. Um, oh god. Here, here I am. Here I am. Uh, he's not going to bet King-10 here. I guess let's pretend that I have, like, maybe a set as well. I think this is not going to work. I just, I just, I, I just think, ah, man, I don't know. I don't think this is a good play. I just, you know, 
Sometimes... I like it, you have to find some bluffs. Sometimes you have to learn the value of money. <laughs> I don't know what... The good thing also is you have a 5 in your hand, so... Diminishing the um, likelihood of your opponent having 5-7. Like, what else to say? Why they're... Or 7-9. Although, 7-9 is not diminished. <laughs> uh, okay, didn't uh, look into that yet. So Galphon might even be calling, because, as he said... He thinks that King-10 is not betting anymore, which is a reasonable assumption. And he also has a 9 in his hand, making it less likely that uh, Jungle can have a 7-9. So yeah, he, Garfon might sniff, sniff that one out, let's see. He's a great player and can do it! <laughs> yeah, just joking, I mean, I think it, it is very, very close if, what to do with this hand, my opinion. And yeah, very hard to put Jungle on a bluff. Do this play. Is he gonna bet sets? Bam! I hope I'm back. Very annoying. I'm very annoyed. Since the new version of OBS came out, things just don't work out anymore as it should. So, yeah, I start my intro again. Yeah. We are looking into Phil Garfond and um, Daniel Jungleman's Kate's place. Uh, OBS crushed in the first few minutes i have no reason why i also didn't recognize i also don't know how long i wasn't uh, recording anymore and how long the stream already died i hope it wasn't too long i will put the things together again if i can recover the old recording we try to determine who's better for Garfond or um, Daniel, Jungleman, Jungleman Kate, they play against each other in the Jungleman challenge. Galfon is down a lot, 700k or something, if you also factor in the uh, crossbook they have. They actually play 10 times higher than that, but um, Jungleman has problems getting money on the side, so yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Look into some more hands. We will also use solvers to see if they make mistakes or not and yeah if you need a solver or coaching from Phil Galfond the links are down below to his coaching sites also to solvers this one is not from Phil Galfond this is from the um, from uh, Jane Nenders mainly but Phil Galfond has another program it's called PLO Vision and you can use that as well both programs are great Anyways, let's continue with the footage. I think he is. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> oh my god, it worked. Yeah, I think this was. Uh... Yeah, I, I would probably also fold in Galfon's shoes, so I think it was a good bluff. Uh... <laughs> oh man, that was that was that was just that was magic right there. That was <laughs> some magic. How did that work? The poke. This looks like a speculative flop call for sure. <laughs> By jungle. Poker gods heard me. The poker gods heard me. Oh my god. I wonder if he's bluffing now. I think he should. Because he can pull out some random stuff. Like 5 or 10 10. <laughs> this is kind of strange. Why don't I believe him? So what is he rapping? Ace. Okay, that, that's a different thing. The Phil is on the, maybe on the different or better level than I am. Uh, assume now, uh, assuming what the fuck is going on, he's not rapping much, and that's true. He, Jungle could have also checked because there's a small chance that he's even good with this for four, but yeah, a very uh, slight chance only. Just some random eight, I guess. Ace queen five. What is he bluffing with though? I have six six seven. I kind of don't believe him, but I've yeah. I think his hand is too weak to call. An ace, I would definitely call a king. I might consider calling. Jungle could even turn a maybe turn a hand into a bluff that he's not beating somehow. But yeah, I think this hand not great to call. I, I mean, especially as he has the seven seven uh, and six as well, because he's blocking all the draws. So yeah, he has to fold in my eyes the worst calling hand in the deck so 
he can win that one. All right. Oh, okay, you guys didn't see this play. I called the flop and the turn with check, check. And now I pot the river and he's lost his mind. <laughs> I also think potting is a strange sizing. He should use something smaller. Ah, it worked too. Oh my God, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my phone. I'm not sure if uh, the solver does a lot of limping. I think this is probably a hand you can throw away pre flop, right? And this looks like very, very weak. Let's find out. King, deuce, 310, rainbow. I think it's a fold. Yeah, this. And right below the stream that I'm checking to make sure sure it works is a picture of Alan Keating and uh, this hand saying, totally insane. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, God, this is so lame. Like, shut <laughs> up. Because, like, that's what every YouTube video is. Now that's what every content is. Oh, bro, it's totally insane. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, everyone, clickbait works, and that's why thumbnails and stuff get more insane and try to people to entice clicking, but that's also uh, in the design of YouTube, but you have to make it clickbaity, but people, yeah, realize what is going on and what they can do, and yeah, otherwise you just don't get the clicks. He bets pot. These stupid hands get me so emotional. So hard for me to have air here. Uh, you know, I feel like raised. Mm, those, that's again, I, I don't remember the action, but I think this might be a bad bluff by Phil. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it was a limp I was card. My phone, and right below the stream, I'm checking to make sure sure works, is check, a check picture of Alan Keating and uh, this hand saying, totally insane. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, God, this is so lame. Like, shut up. Because, like, that's what every... Yeah, it makes sense to bluff here. Because, yeah, Phil first has the biggest bluff. And it's also unlikely that Jungle has so many aces in his range, because most of his aces he probably open raises. So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. YouTube video is now that's what every content is. Oh, bro, it's totally insane. Look at me. He bets pot. But jungle could be uh, suspicious here. He has a club in his hand. He, he probably knows what Phil knows, but it's unlikely that he has a big hand. Or it's less likely than normal. And he also blocks full houses. So, jungle might actually decide to either bluff race with the best hand, <laughs> or he could make the hero call. Then that probably still is to, to just fold and give that one to Phil. Because it's kind of hard for him to wrap a full house reasonably here. Now let's see what jungle does these stupid hands get me so emotional so hard for me to have i would be really impressed if he clicks call but it's, it's a jungle man i saw crazy calls from him in the past bear here uh you know i feel like raising this is a limp pot isn't it the call actually ah! <laughs> yeah okay he, he 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 does not believe him jungle is playing great ah, caught him bluffing <laughs> looks like he's uh picking the right spots to bluff yeah, yeah. He exactly exploits uh, Phil's uh, tendencies, and he's also making good reads in situations like this one. <laughs> ah, I got Falcons. <laughs> I'm too. My style's too weird. <laughs> Insane. 
And by the way, the, the, the insane clickbaity thing is also uh, who is better, Phil Garfon or Jungle Man K. It's uh, <laughs> the topic I gave this uh, to Twitch stream, so <laughs> I'm also guilty of doing that. I can't even... I can't. <laughs> oh, we have uh, actually insane. people in the chat. Yeah, I, I, I had an issue with my... Yeah, OBS. It, it just crashed and I didn't recognize for some time. But yeah, at some point I realized. So, I turn it off again because it's blocking some stuff otherwise. Oh, is it actually? You can actually let it turn on, right? We don't need to see Galphons or Jungleman's face. Every single hand. Hits keep coming. Every session I've started against him, I think I've started down. Uh, this is a, you know, it's hard to. Get your way out of a a few buy-in hole. Left table's weird. This is a kind of hand that I think likes to bet for future. I think I would bet this always. You can uh, continue bluffing on spades. Maybe can can bluff on straight completing cards. Seems re very reasonable to me. Sure, blocker reasons. Even though it's like a weird hand to bluff with now. <laughs> All right. I'm in a I'm in a bad. But Strange, strange flop call. I think that, that his hand is probably a bit too weak to, to make this call. I mean, yes, he has an open ender, but it's not even to the nuts. It's, yeah, I, I don't think that this is good enough. I, I thought he might take down the bot again if he decides to bluff River. <laughs> Spot at the bottom table, I've check called the flop. Yeah, he has to bluff River. And I'm gonna bluff. I see he's on the no bottom choice. of his range again. Oh man, I, they use the same Probably size will believe him again. We'll see what happens. Uh, weird hand now with Queens. He shouldn't be bet big betting this River very often. I'm kind of repping King 10. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm getting called on the bottom table. Unfortunately, I, I just hope this one works. I'm not asking the poker gods for another one. I can't. Yeah, bets are a bit big, I think, but other than that, I like it. I can't ask for this one. This one's too stupid. This one's too hopeless. Just forget this forget this one. This one is just What does he have that I beat? Seven, nine, eight? I might just show that down even. I don't know. No, no way this one gets through. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Phil also assumes that Jungleman is not calling with just bare open enders, but he should have a pair with it at least. Oh my god, I'll get through! <laughs> I got through! That was the most obvious bluff ever! <laughs> Ooh, How did that one get through? It's I mean, straight. of course, if he has shit himself. Yeah, there might be a lot of checking in this hand. As, yeah, both guys are intimidated from all the hearts on there. <laughs> well, it's gonna get through. But if he doesn't, I mean, like, if someone has, like, like you know, like trips or something there, gotta help you. She's just in so much trouble. He uh I remember his last uh you know last time he was played he was uh he was going for probably check plays. check again. He could pot to try to fold out straights, but I just kinda feel like it's not gonna work enough. It's the law the weird law of attraction. <laughs> it's the weird law of attraction. Oh weird stuff lucky. attracts weird stuff. Uh, and Jungleman is gonna call a kill. Because yeah, he's blocking full houses by having a four as well. <laughs> and also a seven. I think that one is true for the record. They don't talk about that one too much. It's a weird one as well. I'm gonna go for the small bet call. Makes the most against like seven four. All right. On the bottom table, I have a straight and some others. Oh, I have a boat. Wait a second. Oh, whoa. I also miss Red Red. He's a boat. He has a boat. Um, is this? Yeah, I think he has to race this one because yeah, the pot is really small and he has no reason to believe it. Phil has a boat too. We could now bet a flush and make a euro call. Yeah, he has to race and Phil calls. Phil probably assumes that Jungle is bluffing some, but Jungle is racing for value. Sorry for misreading the end. I have a boat. I'm going to raise. Yep. Gets called by all of his straights and um, saves a little bit of money if he has 7-7 seven, seven or 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. 
Let's go with that. Seven four. He has also a boat. Oh, okay. A check to river. He bet very small on the turn. That's what happened. Excuse me. I guess I should say, like, I could have made more money potentially against seven four by check raising. Mm, I don't get why Phil checks this. He should bet all this. Let's see what Paul thinks about this one. So this is a raised pot. King nine five. Oh, we got this one as well. Nice. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> Made a mistake. He checked, and then we need to download it. Deuce, 5-5, five, five, king. Deuce, 5-5, five, five, king. Yeah. This is so bad. Most of the time. I would, as a human, I would just make it 100%. So, yeah, maybe Phil misread his hand and thought that he has king five only. This was also my read. Then it might might become a check. Let's make it king five, whatever, ten. Let's see if it's the, then becomes a check. Yeah, then it's closer to check. Yeah, maybe Phil misread his hand, but yeah, th this is a clear bet. But I think the weighted risk reward of all of the hands that he can have there, I think that works out pretty well. And it's nice to protect your small bet range with some hands that are not bet three betting, but still disincentivize him from raising two. The jungle is betting turn. Just an open ender. Uh, not sure. I mean, okay. Like, okay, I guess, but uh, not sh no, not sure about this one. And yeah, I guess can fold out a lot of stuff. So yeah, I don't hate it. Maybe it's very good for play against Phil for some reason. Then, all right, let's see what's going on in the streets. Um, is check raise a viable option here? So Jack 10, 10, 7. He's going to bet a ton of 10, 7 on the turn. I am going to... I could do that. I don't know. It's again, bottom of his range. Or not bottom of his range, but queen rarely will be good. Question is, should he bluff or not? He could probably fold out stuff, draw type stuff with a king or... Uh, yeah, I think... As again, same logic as before, bottom of his range should bluff, but yeah, now Phil will call like 100%. Uh, pretty, uh, it's a weird one. I guess I'll, ch uh, eh. What is he deciding what to do with 6 7? This might be bad on the top. Here, I'm probably getting called. If we're really honest, this time he's got to look me up. This time. Yeah, I think um, this is a good bluff still. But yeah, Phil will look him up, 100%. If, if not, Phil is definitely the worst player to get back to the topic of the stream. I'm, this time he can't fold after I tank and bet full pot. Come on, Phil. Deciding what to do with it. Set. No way this guy folds again. No way. No chance, man. Oh, I don't think... Yeah, I mean, he can have bluffs here. Some diamond dollar fans and... Yeah, I think he sh just should not fold. The way he played at the bottom set here. He has six. Could also have like some 10 10 jack jack blocker stuff. Yeah, never folding. Never folding this. Seven. Now. Man, no, he doesn't. I don't think he has. I mean, they are both streaming, and he knows that uh, on top of that, that Jungleman has having some weird bluffs that come on top of the GTO bluffs. So. Uh, if he folds here, yeah, I, I think this is quite a terrible play. As I think he could have Jack-10. No way. He's pretty weird, though. 
I mean, I think I'm going to call. I have a pretty good calling hand, yeah. even though I don't flux trades. I don't, if I'm really honest, I'm just, I'm flopping because I think I have the right combo. It's, I, I wonder why is even tanking so long. For me, it would not take that long. I, I don't like my timing. Oh, he just said he was tanking with a set. Oh my God. He's like, he's going to vomit with a set. That's so funny. Just blocking top pair. Yeah, that's also what I thought. <laughs> you know, he's, he's not going to be bluffing with the king there. All right, all right. <laughs> it would have been too crazy if he folded a set there. I mean... I would have lost all respect for Falcons. No one folds a set there. That's nuts. That's just like out of uh, that's that's just like maybe there's in some indication that he needs to bluff even more against Galfont. That's the kind of stuff they only see up there in the clouds where the fa Falcons hang out, where they're not here down on planet Earth dealing with real stuff. Okay, that's not something that's supposed to happen. Is folding sets in that spot. Yeah, like we I actually won some the pots there, okay. but not the bigger ones, I suppose. It's that's right, Dave. He will go down. This will be a historic moment. Falcon's demise. Is he thinking about bluffing again? Check raise. I got. I I got a gut shot. There's. <laughs> I got a. I got a <laughs> yeah, I mean it's just pure bluff. <laughs> Complete rubbish. Not. Not sure what to think about it, but yeah, giving our reads on Garfond can't be too bad as he's seems to overfold so far. I think I have a gut shot. Um, at some point, just wait for it. Shit, all right, that's not the card I want. Okay, no, no gut shot on the turn. Let me see. Um, <laughs> all right, it's time to give up. Oh, that's actually kind of a good card. I could, uh, I could bluff. Why not? Kind of weird. This is really weird to check turn that river. I mean, what is he wrapping? Spades? Full house that try to get in the check race on the turn? Hmm. I think it's sort of reasonable for Phil to do all, all th uh, for Phil Garfon to do all three options. Holding okay, I guess. Raising as a bluff, as he's bluffing, uh, blocking full houses, also okay. Calling, because at some points he should have, should get suspicious. So yeah, I, I don't hate any of his options, honestly. Probably didn't expect it. All right. Um... We got a couple interesting hands. I'm going to keep it on this one for a while. Because if he folds, we clearly have to uh, show or at least like celebrate at, at minimum. Queen four, queen nine. It seems very important. Some random spades would keep betting, I think. I don't know. If he does something on the top table, I'll show it. To yeah. Ah, well, good, oh, good, very good call. Damn too. it. I mean, yeah, I mean, this could also be uh, results orientated, but I, I think. Yeah, jungle probably bluffs too much as he's uh, peeling too light. But this could just be adjustments to Phil, Phil's play and he's knowing exactly what he's doing. But he's trying to disguise by talking a lot of weird thing, stuff and acting like he's a bit insane. But in reality, this is a perfectly uh, adjusted to Phil's uh, tendencies. Okay, it looks like at least oh, both both have good hands. So this could be an all in. I probably do better for sure on the turn if we're really honest. Ah damn it. Clear value bet on the right. I mean second pair, but all the equity. Patience is not one of my virtues. That is not one of my uh key traits. Good, yeah, As it happens, so everyone's got like key virtues is how it works apparently. Yeah, pay, I wish I wish there was better patience. I am not continue betting. Like one of my worst. In my eyes. When two straights get there on the turn, I sometimes like to three quarters rather than full pot to keep all the set. Yeah, um, jungle should continue calling with his gala in the set. That's at my value range and give me board coverage. I have set up the other table. By the way, I'm gonna call. And I pot ripper with just the straights. That's a tough one. I guess with a jack as well. 
Uh, I think uh, he should call, although I don't like it. Jack blocker is, is enough. Because we block Jack 9, making a straight less likely. And we also have no club, so this is also good for us because the flush draws with bluff are more likely. So yeah, I, I will call. Here, uh, I think... Using blockers and unblockers. <laughs> Yeah, I think I should lean towards call here. I block is not straight. He would use nines jacks a bit. Like, eh. Of course he has it. Okay. Yeah, what just happened? Had, didn't he have a different hand? I, I saw something with two stews. Am I stupid? What the f Huh? Okay, the two different hands with similar boards or what? Not straight. Okay. And you would use this was jacks the bit, first like, one. Yeah. I really got confused. Yeah, no. Okay. It did feel like he uh, huh? had in that spot. Again? Right, what, what, what is going on here? What? What the fuck? What is that? Are you kidding me? What just happened? Why is this a different hand? Is this just a mistake from the editor? Probably. <laughs> yeah, but still, this is also, also looks like sort of a reasonable hand to call. As he's, although, no, that's not that reasonable of a call. I'm not sure what happened here. Lots go our way. He had bottom set with a blocker. Yeah, okay, this was a mistake of the editor. This is the hand for the... Uh, of this board and he just messed it up and put it in too early it's a lot of sense falcon strikes back he has he has some pretty normal hands and he's being update you know, down 65. this looks like a three bit pot big comeback here we go i mean you can see like from the showdown hands even though i won the last couple of what's going on here the hand changed again. <laughs> what, what what does he have now? Does he have this or King King Six Six? Like he's it seems like he's being Maybe he should fire his editor. Being pretty aggressive, and I'm sure there are some bluffs in there. But uh he's had he's had a lot of hints. <laughs> uh easy call here. This is uh maybe really this is annoying. Same spot here. I three bet I bet the floor. No, cards now changed again. I, uh, I'm gonna bet the turn. Actually. I guess it's probably this end, not the other one. Actually, yikes! Okay, bet shot. We have the queens. We have the second up flush draw. I don't know if that's a good play, but I have some outs, and I block Ace Ten. It's possible. Why is this a bad play? I think it's a good play. It looks good. Hmm. This is a tough spot for Phil. Well, he's bluffing. The queen might not be live. I think it's a call. I mean, it's it's probably one of the best cards possible. I think this is low, so if it's even called. It could be a fold. Possible. And now it's pretty awkward because he's going to check basically his full range. <laughs> three bet, 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 pot. And now the three is a seven. I'm going to check. Seven's not good. And I guess I can win. All right. Um, and then here, the seven is not great, but I think I have to go for it. And he goes along there. Ooh, tough spot. But we can think of a few bluffs, right? So don't hate jungle calls. I'm probably just gonna fold. The Falcon oh. flying high. This time he. Couldn't figure it out. Well, you know what, Kit? The Falcon's got to fly high before he falls. Harder he flies, the harder he falls. He's Jack four five again. What is going on? I. I mean, it's getting this again kind of is dicey probably the incorrect so hand. Tight pre flop. I guess I'm going with this on my only sizing, and I'm pure sea betting this board. So there's there's no real decision. All right, so I have a set. I'm going to slow play. Raising is not a play here. I can tell you that. Double gut shot. That's weird. I bet half pot there. 
Uh, I think I just call against this. Yeah, I have eight outs, 20-ish okay. percent. I'm getting not quite there, but with implied odds, I think it's good. Then I lose. Yep. So here I'm all in, obviously. This is just a fold. I mean, he called a big bet on King, Queen, three rainbow. So he's going to run. I mean, I can't call with a four there. Update our total to down 70. Yeah, this looks yeah, uh, so I've, been, I've been working on my falcon hunting. They were the falcon hunters wear hats like this and outfits like this. Queen, Queen, Jack, Jack. I don't think there's any folding. And let's see how we handle this flop. Interesting. We check range and then I don't think we can fold. This hand is no, four bet pre flop. I four bet. Now I'm going to bet tiny. Do we just call? I think we do. Tough one. It's a weird one. Uh, I guess I just jam. I don't think he has an eight that much, if I'm honest. I don't think my hand's quite good enough to trap. I think we're supposed to call on the left. It's pretty weird, though. He says one, two, three. It's awkward, but I think he has to call. Often, it's, it really sucks if uh, his opponent has like king, king with spades or aces with spades. But if he does not, then he could be winning. Uh, he could have, he has enough equity and he could even be, his opponent could even be bluffing and he might have the best hand. So yeah, I think it's a call. Before, I think it's a call. Uh, the problem is he can't turn many draws here. Like, what is he turning? I guess he could have the flop, not flush draw, actually. Yeah. Okay, so he sure. definitely does not have, he does not have um, an eight, obviously. Is that? Ah, I mean, our equity is okay against that. Mr. Falcons is not running very good, that's for sure. No way on the planet would I probably fold that, to be honest. Uh, I think I wouldn't. I don't think Over we... That. I don't know. I don't think we can get away from that. But I could be wrong. Yeah, like, I don't think... Like, no one really jams, like, aces in a flush draw there or anything like that. I wonder if shit like this is a 4 to 3 bet. Because, yeah, this looks really weak. <laughs> Probably not, but let's just check it. It is 10, 7, 4, 4. 10, 7, 4, 4. Yeah, oof. So rainbow, it's a fold. With one suit, we want to call. Yeah, it's like completely insane. All right, I got some stuff. I'm definitely making lots of hands. Yeah, good, good. Check range here on the left. Good board for both. Yeah, standard bet, I guess, from jungle. He's way more likely to have hit this than Galfond. Wonder what Galfond does against this bet size. Just calling, just check raising. Uh, with two backdoor flash draws and a lot of potential to be able to continue on the turn anyways, I think calling, just calling could be okay and let him bluff. As I, as I like to have, I have some more stuff. He goes with small, easy call. Going over here. Yeah, um, easy call. The obviously, still have a set, still have a gut shot, still going to bet. I mean, I'm not folding. The question is, do I raise to just deny equity to whatever? I think I just call. Yeah, I think it's and then cool. do I jam or do I check? Ooh. Okay, and we got the fucking diamond on the bottom. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I was think tempted to check. This gem is a good play, and Jungleman is a really tough spot. Although Galfon is just dropping diamonds. He also caught flop and turn, so he has to have like some calling hand that's now feeling the need to turn into bluff. There are not that many, to be honest. <laughs> I think you could actually consider folding this, as I don't see Galfond arriving here with enough bluffs. If he was bluffing turn, he continues with a lot of bluffs, because it looks like a spot where I'm going to just jam so many of my strong flushes. The problem is I have so many of them, so it's just hard to get value either way. Basically, I just think Galfond kind of has it a lot here. I block some of his balls with the 10 and the 7. Like, he could have 9, 6, 7, right? And the 10 is obviously not good. I'd like to better hand a call with, basically. Yeah, I do think he leaves his flushes. All right, Galfond, good job. If anybody knows who you will call is, please ask him to respect our heads-up match. You know what? Just for fun. Just for fun. Oh shit, it's not even him. Oh, I didn't see that. 
I did not see that. Um, that's a fucking weird card, too. Jungle Man not getting the memo. Three bet on the left table. Here, I'm going to four bet. It's four bet pot with this double suited hand. We are a little bit deep. And I think I start by checking this hand. It, I could lead. It's not the worst leading hand. Hmm. Well, what? Who is four betting? Here's some asshole breaking the heads up game. And. Okay. Good hand, we are a little bit deep. Is this even a free bet? Could be. Let's find out. Five, six, eight, ten. I think when it's, if it's not a free bet, it's definitely not a. Big mistake. Yeah, looks like Phil is doing his own work. It's a three bet. And I think I start by checking this hand. It, I could lead. It's not the worst leading hand. Uh, and yeah, I flopped a set. That's good news. Leading is usually like sets. He when does you not want to do it. You know, ten thousand dollars in the pots. Mm, it's gone pretty big. By the way, this is crossbook 10 times in case we forgot. It's 100, 200, not 10, 20. <sighs> I think I have to fold against that. All right, okay. no action. That's... I might have called there. But it's definitely close. And yeah, he made, definitely made the correct call against this hand being results oriented. But yeah, in general, against his range. Uh, it might even be the correct call by uh, the, the correct call he made by falling. <laughs> a strange way to say that. Action with the set. That's too bad. Boo hoo. Um, I think we just put this into our four bet range, even though we're a little bit deep. Yeah. I'm not folding this big. one. It just really wants the stack Ooh, to pot ratio to be small flop. for the uh, flop. And here we go. Obviously, no folding this hand, but I could really check for his bluff, actually. It's a reasonable hand to do it with. Start with small bat. I think that's that being really... said, I would prefer to have like an eight or something. I think that's not that reasonable to put this in the check race bluffing range. One issue with this is that I actually think it calls the flop very often based on what I've seen. All right. So here, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it, it almost is a little bit too shitty of a situation. I mean, in theory, this is just a call flop, call turn. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense, especially against Jungle, who likes to make a lot of bluffs. Don't think raising now makes sense. Now it gets pretty weird. Okay, so this is an interesting card. This is really an interesting card. Left table is weird. That's a really interesting card. I think... I feel like he's supposed to small bet range or check range. It's a little funny because I could do something really weird and just like... And I don't think I'm supposed to bet. The jungle could go like check and jam river or something. That, like, so weird. The only thing that I worry about on the bottom is if he does a cute bet, in which case I'm not really supposed to do anything about that. I mean, I do have no diamond in my hand. Yeah, in case he faces the bet, I think he has to shoot forward, but he could consider bluffing again on the river, I said. And I just like, and being a bit pretentious about not having a diamond in my hand. And bluffing um this could be a trap right here that's the thing i mean the thing is i know that he has a very wide range here um it's a, it's very very the thing is that he might get uh aces without without diamonds to fold so i don't hate it if he as played if he jumps in now very likely there's a huge chance he traps probably bluff j block jacks I know that he, uh, I mean, it could be bad. I don't think he, I don't really think he expects this bluff. For me, I think he thinks it's way more likely. Yeah, I also think, but Phil probably uh, assumes that this is not a bluff. But yeah, Jungle could even jam reverse diamond, so Phil has to call here for sure. Definitely for sure. Um, and on the left, I mean, I don't think I can fold. The thing is, I think his range is quite wide. Yeah, he's never in his life folding that, obviously. 
Very spicy with the flop check raise with no relevant. I mean, he's wrapped around the jack. Yeah, I think this was not good. I mean, he's overdoing it with the, with the bluffs. Jack with backdoor clubs. I mean, he's never in, in planet Earth folding that. Uh, it might be okay. I mean, I don't. This again looks like a three bet. It should not three bet. <laughs> Jungle is not working with Shawbos as much as Phil does. But let's see, maybe I'm wrong. Nope. I'm right. I don't think that GTO bluffs on the river, but it, GTO might be cool with doing what I did. Uh, I, I think it's one of those things that's either like slightly losing or like break even kind of thing. And never in his life he's folding that. On the top, gonna bet half pot, good flop, I have something. That's on the right easy call. Not that good of a flop, to be honest. But yeah, that's a turn you can't continue on. Interesting turn on the right. Good shot and flush shot on top. I think I have to bet and barrel through. I think yeah, even has two gut shots, do. right? Which is, yeah. I'm not in love with, frankly. Um, I could pot, fold. That seems like a move. Right table is just a standard call. I don't think I want to be raising here. It's kind of interesting, though, because he's repping. I don't know. I mean, this is just a call. Okay, so a lot of funny things are going on. Here I'm going to check. I'm going to tank and check. Yeah, I think Phil, Phil's call makes a lot of sense. And he says that he's going to tank and check. Looks like Phil will now lose a lot of money because he has to bluff river and jungle the call and win. So straight, it was a bad straight in case we can't see. I mean, I usually win if he was bluffing the turn, right? Queen seven, eight or something I could lose to. I don't know. I think I usually win if he was bluffing the turn. He was bluffing. Really? He's assuming that he, w he wins some. I would not assume that he wins a lot. But I think uh, I personally would bluff if this was because I would assume that jungle has something that beats me. Would be overpairs with the draw stuff, for example, which might fold. So yeah, I, I would have bluffed. Turn, but he rivered the straight. He probably wasn't folding. I guess I could have jammed the turn. I mean, I was in really good shape against that. It looks like, oh, I did win. Okay, I won the pot up top. I mean, I... Oh, blocker play is coming, I guess. Oh, both people have the blockers. So I guess that's who's going to blink first if they go for, like, raising war or something. <laughs> Don't think there's anything I can do there. Queens, I'll call and then raise later, probably. All right, here, um, you know, I have the thing. I got the two tens. I got the non-pair. Got the ace, just in case. Case ace. Case ace. Lots of good stuff. The problem is, does it look like... I don't know. Let's try it. Not loving it. Two tens is better to bluff with than um, two queens. I would hold now. In, uh, if I were a jungle man and not see Phil's cards. Uh, but now... Okay then, man. Take it, dude. One issue with this queen-queen raise to pot, I mean, he folded. Uh, it's over. But I think an issue also is with calling flop that he might not be able to bluff later <laughs> because he's out of position. So check calling flop. I don't really like that much. When I pot turn and then pot river, he doesn't need to call much more than queen 10. So whatever. Maybe he has the two queens bluff, but he's going to probably bluff the river if he's going to do that, right? He might have. I don't really. Uh, there's a chance he has some weird hand like that, I guess. I don't even know if that's what I would do if, if that's what I'm supposed to do with that hand. Uh, um, okay. So it's. What are we down? 65? 70? Not many plays that, that I've minded, although I do feel like he's getting the better of me in small pots. This one looks good. I don't know why these things keep flying off. This is so strange. So I have these like uh, clips that they, they stay on my mic to hold the cord. But somehow they're just... Are they just playing 750 hands? Flying off today. Um, tilted, I guess. Falcons is getting a little cocky. 
Falcons is, is making some playing some funk balls, huh? Thinks he can funk ball it again. Yeah, besides the editing, it was fun to watch this one. Uh, but what's the, let's answer the main question who's a better player? <laughs> uh, very hard to say, honestly. It was just a clickbaity thing, but what I saw so far, I first, uh, I also changed my mind during the session a lot, a lot of times. I first thought what Jungle Man was getting the best out of Phil when I uh, saw some bad plays by Jungle or what I've considered bad plays and some. And Phil also made some very good plays. And then I thought, okay, Phil is a better one. And now Jungle again appears to be playing great. So it's really hard to say. And yeah, I, I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, anyways, like, subscribe, share if you watch this on YouTube. And yeah, follow me on Twitch if you want to see me live and ask me questions while I'm streaming. And yeah, on Twitch, I always um, announce when I'm going live and stuff. So also uh, worth following me there. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, until next time.